everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel it is time for the 2023 formula one grand prix in miami i did a video of the 2022 grand prix like a little vlog where i shared everything about that first race last year was the first race of the 10-year contract that they have and so this year is the second race i also made a video of the like everything that you need to know about it all the kind of stuff and that's where i share that i actually originally wasn't going to go to this race but then we ended up buying tickets so here we are anyway i just wanted to do the intro for this video we ended up actually like custom making this shirt i bought this top from target and then just a friend of mine my friend erica brought this little cricket press and we put together the 16 for charles and then i also put together a couple other shirts so we you know just like custom made these shirts because i wanted to have more stuff i don't have that many ferrari shirts that are like tank tops and so i didn't want to wear something with sleeves because it just gets so hot anyway i am pretty much ready to go we're about to head out to the track it is friday i have been super lucky that i actually have already met so many of the other drivers i went to the airport and got very lucky and ran into a lot of them i saw lando i saw logan i saw alex i actually ran into alex twice once i was out of a restaurant and then at the airport and then i also saw charles which was super overwhelming the amount of people that just like suddenly just came up to him and everything it was absolutely insane saw kevin magnuson nico hulkenberg i even saw stefano dominicali and then i did see mick schumacher which i absolutely got insanely nervous and i pretty much forgot how to speak and just could not even form coherent sentences so that was a bit embarrassing but it was great meeting him super nice guy seriously and so i basically met like most of my favorite drivers i'm just missing carlos so that i can get my you know like my ferrari boys <laughs> so that's the goal is that hopefully i can still run into carlos at some point but we'll see oh and i also got to meet carmen george's girlfriend and literally like the nicest woman ever she's so kind we had a really nice chat with her for a few minutes and so insanely sweet anyway with all that said we're about to head out to the formula one grand prix for practice today's friday we got fp1 and fp2 i've got my ferrari hat i did get the other leclerc sa hat signed and so i'm not gonna wear that one anymore because i want to just keep it intact but I'm gonna be wearing this Ferrari one. As I said, I got this top from Target and then I added the 16. I'm wearing a little tennis skirt that I got from Wilson and it's just honestly comfy because it is gonna be so insanely hot that I wanted something like that. My little fanny pack that I got for the Taylor Swift concert and I have it stuffed with a bunch of necessities like sunscreen and band-aids and just a bunch of little stuff and then sunglasses for sure. So I think we're ready to go. This was our parking situation. It was assigned to us after buying the tickets and then right at the entrance, they had a cool little design for you to post for photos if you want to. Our seats were in the West Campus and they were at the Turn 18 AutoNation Grandstand. So AutoNation also had this nice little cooling area which was much needed during the heat. And there were quite a few areas around campus to buy some merch, especially a lot of hats. Everything obviously priced a little bit high, but you know, if that's something that you're interested in, they do have them around campus. And this was the entrance to our grandstand and seats. After FB1, we went and explored campus. We walked past the paddock club to try to understand how they get in and how we can get invited. We also walked past the start-stop grandstand to try to figure out what we wanted to have for lunch. We ended up going with a delicious pizza from Harris Pizzeria, and then we went on to explore the paddock. You could actually see it from the third floor of the Hard Rock Stadium, which was pretty cool. And then we went on to try the famous MIA margarita, which was actually very tasty, although obviously the prices are a little bit higher when you're going to these kind of events. <laughs> We just got home. We stopped by real quick to get some food. We picked up food from a Mexican place nearby and I got some tacos. Chris got a burrito and then we got to share guac, obviously, and an elote. 
So very excited about that because I'm starving. Now, as far as this day goes, this is a complete 180 from last year's race. Well, one, the weather was actually a lot better than it was last year. Last year, I think it was already like 90 degrees. The feel was almost 100 pretty much every day. Today, it was actually, I think it was like 85 degrees maybe with a feel of maybe like 87. It wasn't that bad, honestly. And it was windy, which was pretty nice. And then two, the biggest difference is that this year we're sitting under shaded seats, which was literally like the biggest change ever. We were super comfortable. Nothing like super hot it was it had like a nice breeze coming in the views were also 100% better so we were actually this time last year we were in the family grandstand this year we were in turn 18 or we are in turn 18 grandstand highly recommend that one so much better I have an amazing view because it's right after a straight so one they're coming super fast but then they have to break and turn around because it's obviously turn 18 and because it's such a like sharp turn they really slow down so you're able to really see the cars up close and you're not I feel like in the family grandstand because we were in a DRS zone it was just like a straight you literally just had to see them like this like it was like so fast but this one you're actually able to like more calmly look at the car go by they also have the entrance to the pits right there so they also have to slow down as well if they're going in the pit so overall that was so much better and in general i feel like it was a little bit more organized i will say i saw a lot more and i had to walk over more sand this year than last year so definitely whatever shoes you wear make sure that you don't care that they get dirty actually i highly recommend sneakers because with sandals you're just gonna get sand all over you obviously there are ways to avoid the sand but in general i had to step over a lot of sand in a lot of places to walk around so we did walk around quite a bit of the track today but in general a much better day than you know like fp1 and fp2 from last year was i'm gonna just have dinner then i'm gonna shower because i feel absolutely gross i mean even though it's so much better it was still hot and then go to bed and get ready for tomorrow okay it is day two it is fp3 in quality day and i've got another shirt that i made this is just a blank top that i got from amazon and then added the 16 for charles and i got some shorts and comfortable shoes my vejas are actually super comfortable highly suggest those let's go to track now we stopped by the mia shop first where they had some really cute cute MIA F1 merchandise and I actually thought these Air Nike Air Force 1 were really cute. They were custom but they actually didn't have them in my size. However, I did get a nice top and a sweater. We stopped by the paddock again and this time we saw Louis and George coming in which was pretty cool. After practice, we stopped by the food area that was right behind us and it does get crowded very quickly, but they do have quite a few options and then lines move relatively quickly. We ended up getting sushi from Pabelli, which was really, really good. After that, we went and explored a little bit more of campus, mainly the areas we had yet to walk by, which was mostly the beach and then the east campus where they had a nice exhibition of Ferraris because the Casa Ferrari seats are right there. And we also got to see the trophy on display. I feel like today I definitely look a lot more tired than yesterday and today was for sure a hotter day and I mean it was also a longer day we did get to track a lot earlier than we did yesterday so definitely my body's definitely feeling it it was a good day well didn't end very well for Charles I guess which we're definitely rooting for Charles so that was not very good but it is what it is I'm hoping that tomorrow will go a lot better we did have fun though we explored like a lot of different areas of campus we actually ended up seeing Lewis and George on the paddock as they were coming in so that was pretty exciting and the lines for the fan zone were actually super long so our goal for tomorrow is to get there early and like go straight to the fan zone and hopefully we'll be able to do something I really want to do that like pit stop challenge or whatever they have going on and so I'd love to try that so I'm hoping that tomorrow we'll be able to get there on time but anyway tomorrow's the last day 
I cannot believe it is the last day we just have the race time and yeah I mean hopefully it'll be a fun exciting race I am a lot happier actually with our seats like I think I mentioned that yesterday but I am a lot happier with our seats on the turn 18 grandstand so I do actually re really recommend those and we did have some people from the F1 research team or whatever approach us today and we talked to them for a little bit and I actually got very very I would say like even brutally honest with them about like the experiences Miami what it's like you know like the races in America in general and you know like they specifically asked a lot of questions about the perception of Formula One and the way that they're going and all these things and I was like very very honest about it and definitely the difference that I've seen in Formula One since I was a kid and I was watching it which obviously a lot of things have changed because back then there was like no social media or anything like that so it definitely has changed but still definitely was honest with them so that was fun that they had people going around track talking to people we literally talked to them for like 15 minutes and gave them a lot of our thoughts and feedback so I mean hopefully they'll do something with that maybe if more people you know share their feedback as well but that was a pretty pretty exciting experience I would say that they actually like are listening to people and what they what they have to say anyway I'm gonna go shower have some dinner relax I keep trying to paint my nails I'm trying to paint my nails red and I keep just running out of time so hopefully I'll have some time tonight if not maybe tomorrow morning I don't know we'll figure it out we are ready for day three it is actually raining right now so we'll see how it goes on the track but this is another custom Leclerc shirt this one actually does say his last name though but again number 16 got some shorts my shoes my same shoes my bay house because one they're comfortable two they're already dirty so not gonna make any more shoes dirty than these shorts and my Celine belt. So we are ready to go. Hoping that the weather stays cloudy because it's actually really nice temperature wise and everything, but definitely hoping that there won't be any more rain because that's gonna be different. So we'll see, anyway. Let's go to the track. We got there right before the gates opened, so we did have to wait outside for a little bit, and then we headed straight to the fan zone where we tried to do the pit stop challenge because we basically had to choose between a line because everything was so insanely busy. But we went with the pit stop challenge instead because the F1 simulator was super long, and our team ended up winning the challenge between the other two teams that were there. After that, it was time for the driver's parade, and Charles was actually the one driving Carlos around the track, so we didn't really get to see him. Here is George with his signature wave. Lewis was also waving at all the fans, and honestly, he looked super happy to be there. And I'm not sure how Lando was wearing a hoodie because it was really hot at that point. Then they did the driver intros and something that looked more like American football, but I'm not really going to comment too much on it because I think everybody on social media already has. back from the race i am quite tired though i will say it was way worse last year so these seats plus the weather which i mean obviously totally out of everyone's control as far as the race goes i mean it was honestly like i don't know if it was because of the point where we were at like the seating wise or what it was it was it had some entertaining moments you know there was some like overtaking and, and some nice battles that we got to witness so that was cool however and then this is you know in addition to just being a, an f1 thing i guess it's not particular to miami grand prix but those red bulls are so insanely fast there's like no competition at this point. I know it's still somewhat early in the season, but at this point I'm not really holding my breath for any of the other teams let alone Ferrari, which really breaks my heart again. But as all Ferrari fans say, or have been saying lately, next year will be our year. But yeah, anyway, the gap that those Red Bulls build with the other cars is just insane. Even the gap that Max was building with Checo was absolutely wild. So really, really, really fast cars. And whatever Adrian Newey and the rest of the Red Bull team are doing, it's absolutely insane. Like it's clearly working. So anyway, we had that. Now, something 
that was different from last year was last year we got a notification on the app saying like hey this you know like 20 minutes before the race is over we're gonna open some gates or like we're gonna get together in some like some of these points where we're gonna be opening these gates so that you guys can run to the podium and watch the ceremony we did not get any notifications from the app saying that we couldn't find any of those points by the time that we were trying to like cross the like the nearest route towards the podium they actually locked all of that off like everything was fenced off and closed off so there was no way for us to actually even remotely get towards the podium so i don't know if it was just different because of where we were sitting this year i don't know if they just weren't planning on doing it and they only allowed like the people closest to it i i really have no idea or like if you had to ask somebody instead earlier on before the race was even over i really don't know what happened there but it was very unfortunate because we really wanted to be able to like see the ceremony i mean it's not like i was rooting for max Trek or alonso but you know wanted to just like be able to experience it but unfortunately no you know no luck there we were not able to access the podium this time they always send out a survey after the race so i'm definitely gonna like fill that out and let them know that i do want to be able to have access to the podium i want to be notified i want to know about these things and unfortunately i don't know what happened there so anyway i would say it was a better grand prix than last year for multiple reasons one the but uh, the weather was better the it felt more organized like in general i felt like it was easier to get around it was you know like more stuff going on there were more options in general for things to do things to eat all the kind of stuff the like pavement and stuff felt so much more organized and better like you could last year we were walking on so much like grass and wood chips and things like that this year it felt like we were walking mostly on concrete and you know like other stuff like that so it felt a lot easier to get around and just better overall so that was also a big plus i think i said this in my last video about the miami grand prix do i think this is like the best grand prix in the world no not at all it is still very much a parking lot and you know not the greatest but whatever it's a good experience though so will we go again next year i don't know i mean these seats were so much better that i would actually consider it again as long as we're also able to go to another grand prix i do want to experience a different grand prix i would love to go to monza because as a ferrari fan it just would be such a nice moment but tbd on that however i would obviously prioritize a different race over this one if i can like if i have that choice next year so we'll see what happens but i will say this year felt a lot better than last year's race the race itself wasn't the most exciting i mean not much really happened there were a couple battles like i said but like nothing crazy but you know it was nice for the experience being able to live it again and just since it is literally in our backyard like literally like where we live like it's, it's not far at all so it was just worth it for that reason but anyway if you did go and you want to share your thoughts or you know anything that you learned when you you know went this year or anything like that feel free to leave that in the comment section or if you have any questions as well i'd be happy to answer anything that i possibly can about this year's experience as well as last year's if you have any question about it i hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a like a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you next time.